Hey guys, welcome to Covenant Kids. I'm Mr. Scott. We're gonna learn so much about Jesus today, but first we're gonna worship. Why don't we stand together and do that? kids, it's Miss Mason. These past couple weeks, we've been learning all about Jesus, life, death, and now resurrection. But as we've talked about this, and as I've talked with some of you guys, we've been talking about how it would be so hard to believe that Jesus rose from the dead. The thing about this is that there were people who knew Jesus on earth that were his friends and his disciples. And one of these disciples' name was Thomas. Now we know that he was friends with Jesus and he followed Jesus, he was a disciple. But when Jesus died, he had a really, really hard time losing his friend. 
He was really upset and he doubted that Jesus could ever raise from the dead. So when Jesus did, he said, I don't believe it. I will not believe this unless I can physically see Jesus. So Jesus comes back, actually shows up right in the room where Thomas was and says, Thomas, you can touch the scars on my hand. You can touch the scar on my side. It's really me. And there will be people, Thomas, who are gonna follow you, who aren't gonna really get to see me and their faith is gonna be blessed. So here's the cool thing, Covenant kids. You and I are those people that Jesus was talking about in this story. We're the people that later on today, you and I, we get the choice to believe in Jesus even though we can't see him. Now I know that it's really hard sometimes to believe in something that we can't see. But the truth is, is that Jesus knew this would be difficult and so he gave us something called faith. And sometimes it's even hard for Miss Mason to, to be able to be like, Jesus, I believe in you, but unlike Thomas, I can't physically see you. But there are so many ways that we know that God is real, that Jesus did walk on the earth, that he died for our sins and rose again so that he can have a relationship with you and I. We know that He's at work today and that He left us His Holy Spirit so we would have access to hear His Word, to read His Bible, to see Him work in our lives and to transform lives. I'm so thankful that Thomas was able to see Jesus again and to truly believe, but that Jesus was able to give this reminder to Thomas for you and me that we will be truly blessed because we are believing even though we can't see. Okay, everybody, it's time for our new verse. It's a little bit of a long one, so I've got my Bible. I'm gonna read it to you first. Are you ready? Here it is. You are saved by grace through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is God's gift, not from works, so that no one can boast. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. All right, now let's try to say it all together. Stand up and let's say it. You are saved by grace through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is God's gift, not from works so that no one can boast. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. Great job, everybody. I'm really proud of you. I know that we can get this verse because it's a really, really important one. Every step of my feet 
Treasured by the one who loves me Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I am treasured, treasured, treasured by the one who loves me Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I am treasured, treasured, treasured by the one Hey, I can count on all of the promises my God promised me. He will never let go and he will never forsake me. He knows everything that I need for this day. He knows every thought and he knows me by my name. Hey guys, thank you so much for being with us. You've watched, you've listened, and you've learned. Now go change your world. See you next time.